Hello everybody, Andy here again in the car, as you might be able to see. We're actually, it is, hang on, what day is it? Monday today. Um, we're now driving our way back from Nashville all the way up to Chicago, 470 miles or thereabouts. We're about two and a bit hours into our trip and we are just coming up to the exit for Elizabethtown. <laughs> as you well know by now, if you've been watching any of the videos that have been going on, that place had a bit of a an effect on all of our lives I think so if we're, as we're driving past I'm going to show you Gary and Mike in the front and we're just gonna sort of relay uh, some of our experiences if you're not sick about them already so if I sort of turn the camera around and you can see the guys in the front here and there's one of the signs up there <laughs> so Gary what can you tell me about what did you get out of the Elizabeth town experience should we say um, initially a lot of stress yes you believe uh, that is, yeah, we were right over there, right? Yeah, there it is yeah, in the background. That's where we stayed. Um, yeah, yeah, actually, I'll just it was that. a case, though, because I don't travel as much as Mike does. Um, for me, it was kind of a cool, like, once the, once I realized what it was going to cost and all that, uh, that's where we had some. Yeah, actually, yeah. if I turn the camera around, that's actually the hotel over there where we stayed. Up here, there's the visitor center and everything. So, yeah, what I got out of it is that, like, we were able to actually have fun, and it didn't ruin the trip in any way at all. For like, me, it actually made it, it made the trip in some ways. And I think with a lot of travel companions, this would have been like a nightmare. <laughs> you know, can you imagine with some people like? How it, this... Yeah, if all three of us had been it was all jittery and on edge, and and uh, and pissed off that our trip had been you know, curtailed or, or delayed or, or whatever, you know, it could have been a really bad night between the yeah. two of us. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, I think we certainly made the most of it in lots of ways. Yeah, it's not like we fully experienced the town. I mean, we no. saw a hotel and a chain restaurant. Uh, we, again, we got to watch the debates, which I'm happy Andy got to see. US, which from my point of view was quite strange seeing the American vice presidential debate with uh, especially Mike being quite vocal, laying down in bed. <laughs> she just said it again! <laughs> Why is she winking at the camera? Yeah. Maverick, Maverick. Maverick, Maverick again. yeah. Have another drink, yeah. yeah. So that, that, was, uh, that was interesting. Yeah, Look. so for me it was just, it was, it became the adventure, I think. You know, it just, it, and we were all safe and sound. Yeah, yeah. And not much poorer because of it. Yeah, and for me, it's that I think that's going to turn out to be one of the most memorable things about the entire trip. It, you know, it's because it's it's that was never on any itinerary, it was never no. on any uh, list of. I mean, we stopped there because you wanted to stop there, and your wife wanted to. Yeah. to you know, it has a connection to the place, but I thought it was just going to be a stop and take some pictures and leave. And, and it was exactly. It, yeah. it was supposed that was to be the plan. Place, yeah. But um, but it but it became something more and especially since we we did a vlog about it and you know it, and then everybody once by the time we got to Nashville everybody knew the story and yeah everyone was like are you okay how's your yeah, car you know right. we, walk, right. we walked into the lobby of the hotel uh, in Nashville and everybody had already seen at least one of the videos and knew about Gary, it how's your oh car? how's yeah. your car how, but then oh, the yeah. is, how's your car and then all the cameras came out so I bet I bet there's footage of me telling that yeah, story yeah there's probably um, oh, yeah. obviously we had to relate to other people at other times so and for me that was cool though you know we talked about the Twitter thing for 888 uh -huh. following people and how they're getting there there were people that were expecting to see us there following us that like genuinely cared about us like that we got there and they were following us coming in yeah, yeah. And, and you could never do this you know 20 years ago no too right uh, well even last year people weren't using twitter so that kind of instant updates yeah even Watch. those kind of instant updates weren't happening a year ago at the gatherings people were going to so that that was actually uh, that was it that had an impression upon me when we walked in the door and people were yeah. asking about us and that's they right. already knew yeah. you know because that's like in the past that's something only your good friends who might have that, that's you might call to, to say you're all right yeah. Or yeah 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 so, that really is bizarre when you think about it but that, so that see the full colors here you can see the colors of the trees it seems like starting they have to turn, changed yeah. since uh, I was wondering if as we drove north we'd start yeah. seeing more colours than we did on So the that's ground. a bit of our story. As I said, we something that uh, I think made an impression on all of us in one way or another. 
So, uh, and what's I'd your say, impression, Andy? Well, I might turn the camera around on me. <laughs> <laughs> turn it back to me. Um, from my point of view, I did do a vlog about it, whether you've seen it yet. But we wanted to stop there. For me, in some ways, it was in the highlight of the trip. Sounds sounds a bit strange because it was different and it wasn't. It was unplanned, and it showed our sort of maybe our true characters and sort of threw us together in a different way, rather than sort of a normal normal way. It showed the different sides, and I, I thoroughly enjoyed these guys' company since we've been here this week. And, that, short, and for me, that's what's that's what's made this whole trip. And. We've also, Mike started writing a song about it. <laughs> We've actually started doing some filming for a silly music video based in Elizabeth Town, so who knows what may come out of a, a broken tie ride. I think that we should add, it was interesting, like you said, True Colors, that's other popular. Yeah, yeah. You know, when, when it happened, I, I was really of course, internalized everything and freaked out, and I'm thinking about money. And, yeah, and so I was totally charge of like yeah. getting, you know, I kind of don't even remember how we got to the joint all that stuff. But it showed that, yeah, I was depressed and freaked out, but our senses of humor and our temperaments, I think, came through even during it. It was kind of like, this sucks, I'm stressed out. We weren't freaked, like we weren't at each other's throats. We, we, cer we certainly made the most of the experience, I think, and got a lot out of it in one yeah. way or another. Yeah. So, so that was cool to see personalities kind of come through that way in a little bit more stressful situation. So that, that's the story. You may, you may see a music video and even a song about it at some point. <laughs> <laughs> but as I said in our vlog, we'll always have Elizabeth Town. Right, I'll speak to you again soon. Goodbye.